What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode of Hot the Thursday, I'm going to show you guys how to create an HDR image in Darktable. And these are the images that we will be working with today. I've got one which is uh, very underexposed. You can see the details in the highlights very well. I've got one very overexposed because you will be able to see the details in the shadows very well. And I've got two regular exposed images. And what we're going, we're going to use all four of them to create one HDR image. So let's just select all of them right now by clicking the first one and then holding the shift button and clicking the last one and now all of the images are selected and now what we need to do is go to selected images and then hit the create HDR button and now we've got ourselves an HDR image that we can work with so let's just open it in darkroom and let's get to it and this is the HDR image uh, the only thing I'm going to keep active is the original if you see a couple of layers above it please just hit the original one and hit the compress history stack I'm only going to use the white balance as well because if I don't then the entire image will get a weird look. So this is our starting point and the first thing that we need to do is adjust the exposure. So I'm going to do that by clicking on the histogram right here. I'm going to click with the left mouse button and then I'm going to drag this right part to the right side of the histogram. Which basically means that the image is becoming more and more bright because the right part of the histogram is the brightness and the left part is the darkness or the shadow side. I'm going to do it a little bit more and watch what happens with the exposure module if I drag this to the right. It increases and now the image is a lot more brighter so it's time to move on to the next module which is the global tone map module. If you don't see it over here because I've put it in my favorites please go to the more modules right here and then you will be allowed to choose any module that you like or that you like to add. So the global tone map module has three options. The first one is Reinhardt, the second one is Filmic and the third one is Drago. Let me show you guys what happens if you pick one of those. Eventually we will be using the Drago one for this image, but check it out. So this is Reinhardt, it's very dull. Uh, it's a fairly good starting point, but it's not the starting point that I want to use. The second one is Filmic which compresses everything, it's very bright and uh, you can see everything very clearly but this is not the starting point that I want to use so I'm going to use the Drago point or the Drago operator. I'm not going to change any of the other words, I'm just going to keep it like this so it's time to move on to the next module which is the equalizer module um, and with the equalizer module what we will be doing is we will be using a preset which is the denoise and sharpening reason being is because I haven't denoised the image yet and I haven't sharpened it yet so that's what we're going to do first and as you can see it makes a huge difference there's a lot more detail right here but we're still not done yet so we are going to close the equalizer module we are going to move on to the local cons module which is this one I like to use the 180% a lot but for this image that will be too much watch what happens if I drag this all the way to the right and to the left so first to the right it gets a cartoon like feeling and if I put it all the way to the left you can see that a lot of detail is going to be lost in the image so let's just right mouse click and fill in 150 which is a fairly good starting point if you ask me I'm going to keep everything else as is because now I can see everything very clearly so let's just close the local contrast module and move on to the next one which is the contrast brightness and saturation module and let's just open that and what I want to do is I want to crank up the saturation to 0.5 and now the image has got a lot more uh, vibrance to it it's got a lot more color to it I kind of like how this looks but I'm not quite done just yet because the final module that I will be using for this edit is the tone curve module and in the tone curve module you can adjust certain things give it a little bit more contrast by dropping the shadows and uh, upping the the highlights a little bit but for this image all I want to do is because I like the highlights and how they look and I like everything else that looks especially the darker areas over here but I just want to bump up the midtones just a tad bit so those are over here and let's just pull it up just a little bit just to make the image stand out a little bit more 
and that's how I edit this image in dark table. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'll see you guys on Sunday and there's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button, consider subscribing if you haven't already, hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop a new video and until next time, doei!